What's up guys, Alina Nadem here, and it's been a while. I wanted to come back to you guys with some knowledge, with some tutorials, and uh, I know I have really old videos on my channel that are obsolete. That's why I kind of put them uh, in the as the old video or legacy videos. And I want to come back to you guys with new videos, fresh tutorials, kind of go over a lot of sound design, sound design and instruments, effects, uh, layout of songs, show you guys my old songs, show you everything. And uh, hopefully you guys can get inspired. You can take that insight and apply it to your own work. In this tutorial, I wanted to go over sidechain techniques, uh, one in particular. So there's a lot of different ways you can sidechain. And uh, one more popular way is like through LFO tool or volume shaping. However, I'm going to do a one that's a kind of uncommon and it doesn't involve the peak controller and FL. It involves a third party plugin or you can use FL's plugins. They work the same way. Um, and to demonstrate, I'm going to show how to compress a baseline using FabFilter uh, Pro C. So this is a compressor plugin. And this plugin will allow you to compress your audio. It's a very transparent uh, compressor. But at the same time, there are sidechain options so that you can send an input signal and sidechain the baseline. So I'm going to uh, set up something for you guys. Oh, excuse me. Too much, uh, too much breakfast, too much food for breakfast. I had like 240 carbs. Carb the fuck up. So what I'm going to do is I have massive right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and just make a basic baseline. Okay, on A, that's fine. Uh, that suffice we just want it to just come in and out so <laughs> that's what she said go ahead and route it to something like insert three i'll tell you why insert three because insert one i want to make it for the kick insert two i'm going to put a um side chain actually i gotta rearrange that yeah what happened there fat filter pro c so Insert two is going to be for a side chain. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a kick drum. Um, whatever you want. This is not going to be musically too pleasing, but it's just for demonstration purposes. So it sounds like shit, right? I mean... That's a really bad kick. So the two are clashing together. Go ahead and route your kick to number one. What you can do here is you can also duplicate this kick. Right click and hit clone. Copy this and paste it to the below kick. Go ahead and route this kick to number two and turn off any output going to the master. So this means that now kick will play, but with no audio going anywhere. This is gonna be useful to be used for a uh, signal to compress. And the nice thing is we can tweak this. We can go ahead and you know do some simple parameters, make it very short, almost like a little click. Uh, maybe we want a more drastic effect and we can change all of this. And that's the beauty of this approach for sidechain because you get a lot of control on the frequency bands. You get a lot of control on the rhythm, the groove, and you can make it even the most subtle side chain. Um, so we'll just leave this. We'll maybe put it at like maybe around there, just so it's so it's uh, so it's short. Now the next step, we got kick on insert one, side chain insert two, insert three is our bass. <clears throat> side chain, go ahead and come over here and right click and hit sidechain to this track. What that's going to do is going to it's going to send the audio signal without sending out any audio to insert 3 and you, of course you can do that to many different ones if you're sidechaining a lot of different um, ones. In this case, 
we went and went ahead and did that we're going to go over to fab filter pro c and there's a few things you want to do first go ahead and turn off the auto gain go ahead and click on detailed settings right here and go to vsd wrapper settings and processing click on stereo sidechain so right click this and click sidechain now we've prepared fab filter pro c2 to receive the audio signal from the sidechain um, we can come back and let's see if there's any difference so there's no difference last step you're gonna have to click on sidechain here and over here go ahead and hit these are two buttons here internal and external go ahead and hit external now we can see it now we can see those curves from the kick that's coming in and all we have to do at this point is customize this desired sound that we want so in this case for demonstration i'm going to crank down the attack maybe make the release around 100 milliseconds and crank up the ratio and bring down the threshold to about around there you can get more drastic effects by changing the style type for instance, if you change it to opto, you see you'll get a more linear curve, which is very fast if you need very quick. So my top tip for this would be to stick with the uh, clean or the opto. Uh, many times I do use opto if I need to make a super quick um, sidechain, and I would combine that with a fast attack, a short release, and sometimes even going and tweaking the sidechain um, signal that I'm sending either by cutting it out or you can go into the envelope settings and mess around with that. <clears throat> so hopefully this uh, tutorial was helpful for you guys. This basically lays out how to sidechain a signal using FabFilter Pro C2 or any other compressor that supports sidechain. And in this uh, instance, it's going to be great because you get a lot of control over how you want to sidechain. You can see here. But by default, my parameters are usually something like this. I'll give you an instance. Usually something like this. Medium, low threshold. Very high ratio. Short attack. Short release. But of course, it's going to be, be different each and every time based on your kick. How, how is the transient? How long is the kick? Is it a, like a big room style? Is it more of like a housey style? So I'm going to be making videos daily. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please make sure to like it, share it, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to be doing daily videos. I'm going to be doing all types of stuff. They're going to be beginner videos, advanced videos, not specifically in any certain sequence. Um, but of course, definitely, I'm going to put them in playlists and categorize them to make it easier for you guys. So much love, much appreciated. See you guys soon.